Good morning and welcome to day four of non-vlogmas here on my channel. I am not home today. So today is a work day for me. So I leave the homestead and I drive into work, which is a bit of a distance. Um, but so far today, it is 9.40 and I've already been to the gym this morning and showered. And I've been to the DMV and now I am running to Aldi because I have to grab just a few things and then I'm headed to work all day. So it has already been quite eventful. Oh, and I stopped to get gas. Um, so, yeah, so today I don't really have a whole lot to share with you because I will literally be at work all day. Um, but I thought maybe I could just share with you <clears throat> what I'm eating today. Maybe I could show you what my meals are for the day. <laughs> so I will share that with you. Um, most of it is just meal prep. It's not terribly exciting, um, but it is a glimpse into my daily life. And uh, because I am the one that creates all the stuff on this channel, um, I'm the one with the camera, the editing, so you get to come with me. Um, and my work days are not that exciting. So <laughs> here we go. Non-vlog business day four. <laughs> Well, this might be entertaining for you guys. So, <laughs> obviously I've told you all the errands I ran. Just went to uh, Aldi and got to work and realized, oh, I don't have my keys to get into my office because I'm in a different vehicle than I normally drive and it's usually in my vehicle. So I'm locked out of my office for work. This is like super embarrassing. I had to like send away my first client and it's just, it's, it's Monday. It's just one of those days. So I thought I had a spare and it's in my other car. So here I sit <laughs> trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> the reality behind the scenes of a attempting to be YouTube homesteader. <laughs> well, I am hungry, so maybe I'll, I'll eat something and share with you guys what I'm gonna eat in my car here. So I have a, uh, a few different things. I think what I'll eat currently is, oh, this, is, this one's exciting. This one's actually really good. I eat all my food cold. Uh, just, well, I shouldn't say all of it. Most of the food I eat, I eat it cold because I just don't really care if it's warm or not. <laughs> I uh, am not incredibly picky in that manner. So here's what I have for my lunch right now. So it's it's 1048. I'm gonna eat this as breakfast because I haven't eaten yet today. So this is a meatloaf that I made yesterday with just a roasted, that's roasted acorn squash that we grew in our garden. Um, there's no seasonings or anything on the roasted acorn squash. Um, I don't have a fork in here, so I'm just gonna hand this. Um, but I was gonna show you that this does have like a really nice caramelization on it if I can get to the bottom of it for you. Look at this. It has like a really pretty caramelization and that is flavor. Um, and then, yeah, you saw the meatloaf yesterday if you watched yesterday's video, um, which I'm actually posting today. So, so I'm gonna eat this meal and then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna get into my office so I can finish my work day. My name's Sarah. If this happens to be the first video you see and you're still watching it for some reason, hit that subscribe button and like it because that helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna go to Caribou because I want a coffee and that might make me happy. <laughs> not that I'm not happy, but you know, sometimes you just need a little coffee. Thanks for stopping at Caribou Coffee. Are you a Brix member? I am. And then this here is gonna be for uh, Sarah? Yes. Can I, just Can I just do a medium Americano, please? Yeah, and that's hot. Yes. Any cream, sugar, flavor? No, thank you. 
Anything else that I can get for you? I'm good. All right, that's gonna be 411 at the window. Cheers. All right, so I got my mug and I have my coffee. And because these things are so hot to drink out of, I don't like to drink out of them if I don't have to. Um, plus, I just read, <laughs> obviously you can't fully avoid this. I mean, this kind of stuff is in everything. But the liner of these cups is made with like, I forget what kind of plastic, but it's some kind of liner. Because obviously it's paper. It would just soak right through if it was just paper. It's lined with like a plastic of some sort. And uh, the longer it sits in here... The more microplastics you ingest in your body. Isn't that great? Happy, happy Monday. <laughs> so I prefer to let it like cool off a little bit as I pour it into my mug. This is what I like to do. This is just an Americano, which is just delicious espresso. It's espresso, not espresso. Delicious espresso with water. There's no milk or flavoring or anything fancy in here. Let's keep it simple. Keep the calories low. I don't know if you can see it there, but let's see how hot it is. Really freaking hot, but delicious. Oh yeah, that's good. Caribou has really lovely coffee. I don't know what you have near you. Probably Starbucks. I know Caribou is more well known now. Uh, but it used to be just in, like, the Midwest, um, and we're in Minnesota. Um, but their coffee, I just think, is so tasty. I really, really enjoy it. Um, next on my list for coffees that I like is I think Dunkin' Donuts has delicious coffee. I really like it. So, anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this now before I go try to break into my office again. I was too excited to eat this, and I forgot to show you guys. This is the caprese salad from the mozzarella that I made yesterday and this was seriously amazing so this is the mozzarella all soaked up in or drenched in olive oil and balsamic and it is seriously divine so this was delicious so this is just a chocolate protein shake definitely get your protein and these chocolate shakes are delicious Okay, here for my next meal, I have ground turkey. There is basmati rice underneath here. I'll show you. Okay, so ground turkey, and there is basmati rice under there. And that I made with a turkey bone broth from Thanksgiving. And I'm going to eat this cold. Yep, so that's what I do. And I'm going to put this on it because this stuff is delicious. This is the salsa I get from Costco. I do make my own salsa, but I really love this stuff because it tastes like super fresh pico. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Like, but um, I just kind of douse it on all here and go to town. It's seriously so good. I love to eat meal prep like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yum. So, if you've uh, watched my channel, you know that I like to bake a lot. Uh, and this is what I eat during the week, so I can eat treats on the weekend. Yep. <laughs> it's called balance. <laughs> Yay. Alright, so this is my last thing I'm making for the day. This is just a uh, plain yogurt. Not flavored at all, just plain. And then I add, this is my favorite protein, uh, this is first form protein. I love this stuff, it mixes really well into things. Um, and so I just put like, maybe like three-fourths of a scoop of chocolate protein in this. And then just give it a really nice mix. And this is like dessert. It's so good. Um, I do this all the time, especially if I have a sweet tooth during the week and I'm trying not to be super naughty. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I just blend it up like that, and you can kind of see it's really nice and thick, 
but it is seriously so good. And that is what I eat in a day when I'm at work. <laughs> That's all I got for you.